Hey everyone, it's Celeste, and we are going to open an unplugged book box. Um, I just got it, like literally my son brought it to me, like it was delivered today, and I couldn't wait to see what's in it. So this is the Adult Fiction November 2021 uh, unplugged book box. Today is the fifth, like that's great. Um, the theme is cozy nights. Um, I, and I'm not, and, and they've changed it up to where it's not a card. It's sort of a little booklet. So that's nice because I don't have to worry about the spoilers jumping out at me. Um, so let's get started. Um, the, fr the, the, the thing on top that is the most, you know, like in your face is this. And what it looks to be is some sort of like blanket or something. And it's like, um vacuum sealed so i have my scissors ready because i figured that it was a good idea to have them handy so i'm gonna get into this and as i'm opening it it's fluffing back up immediately which is nice um it's tied with a little ribbon so i'm gonna open up the ribbon i'm gonna open up this ribbon and see i see purple and sort of this a blue color and oh my goodness it's so can you guys see it okay it's large like a little bigger than a lap I have it upside down a little bigger than a lap blanket and it has I don't know it has a person do you see her you see her I don't know who she is I am not sure what fandom I'm looking at. Oh, and then there's this guy. So, not sure who I'm looking at. If I had to guess, I would say maybe like Court of, um, not Thorns and Roses, but the uh, one of the other ones, right? Where she's with the other guy. We'll see, we'll look at the card and we'll see. Okay. That's really nice. It's very soft. It's very plushy. It's just makes me happy. Okay. Um, I spy worms, worms. Okay. But I'm going to put, set those to the side and I got to make sure I clean them up really well. So my cats don't get them later. Okay. So the next thing I see is a little bag here and it has, I don't know if you guys can see little pumpkins in it and it says um reading by the fire pumpkin cinnamon and books mini pumpkin potpourri <gasps> oh you put them in a decorative dish and you just let them smell good oh i can smell them oh they smell good it's like not overpowering it's like a it's like a, a good fall scent but not too strong okay Yay! The next thing that I see in here is this little thing. You see it? It is one of those magnetic bookmarks and it is an exclusive for Unplugged Book Box and it's got like fall things. So you see like pumpkins and like little fall trees and books of course and it's like a hot mug. That is darling. I like the magnetic bookmarks because uh, you know, so stuff, stuff happens. The book slides off the bed and you don't want to lose your spot. And that can be a real big pain in the butt. Okay. This little jar is the next thing that was like handy to pick up. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's really bright outside. Um, this is Alexandrian Society Lip Scrub and it says Books and Cinnamon. Um, and I think it's made with like natural ingredients. So, oh yeah, it smells nice. And it's like, you know, a sugar look, lip scrub. So you take it uh, like in the evening and when you you don't have any, like I have products on so I can't try it, but you have no products on, you just gently rub it in and it'll exfoliate your lips so they'll be nice and soft and wonderful. Um, and you can keep them healthy and looking good, not all chapped. Cause I don't know about you guys, but in the winter time, my lips get chapped like cold weather does that to me okay here is the next item it appears to be a candle 
It says glazed caramel cake, spiced wine, warm oak. Autumn at Lollybrock. Okay. Let us smell it. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it smells good. Yes. Mm. It has like a like an old world smell. It has a very fall smell. Um, it it's more the warm oak, I think. But and then look at the wick. See that? That's not like a like a string wick. That's like a little stick wick. So that's weird. I don't have that on very many of my candles. So that's kind of neat and it's a nice little size. Okay, we're getting to the bottom of the box. Um, there's this little flat box. So I can't tell what it is, so we're gonna open it up and see what do we have here. It's in bubble wrap. Um, ooh, I bet it's, it, I think it's coasters. Yes. Um, it's like a stone coaster, like it feels like slate, and it says, looking forward, forward will be better than looking back. Okay, that's one, and let's see if the other one is the same. It is also a stone coaster. Oh, it says, strange, isn't it? to love a book. I think these are inspired by like the Aaron Morgenstern books, like Night Circus and what is that one like? The the Endless Sea one. I don't know. I've read Night Circus, didn't love it. Um, but I haven't read the other one because I didn't like Night Circus. So I don't know. Tell me in the comments. Maybe I should go and read that, right? It's got there's stuff. Okay, what's left is the book plate for the author's signature and a little note from the author, which has got a really pretty fall, like that is just the fall aesthetic, right? Like, although that that leaf in the tea to me is like, I don't wanna drink that tea now, it's got a random leaf in it. Um, and it's, well, here we are in the packaging. So again, I'm gonna get my scissors out and cut into it. I did take my nails off, so I probably could tear into it easier. It's funny, like when I have my longer nails on, I ha I'm gentler with things <laughs> than when I have just my nubby personal fingernails with no other nails on. But I'm gonna use the scissors, my scissors, to get, uh, if I can, dang. I cut in the wrong spot. It didn't give me the, what, the hole that I needed to, get into it so it's a paperback which the adult fiction books are paperbacks but that's okay because adult fiction books are expensive and they're always like a newer one so i appreciate it okay here's the book it is the secret next door by rebecca taylor it has this nice like matte cover it's a night it's a good size like there here it is it's a good size okay so now let's go to the card and see what the card says about all these goodies see if I'm right about some of what I think the goodies were inspired by um, so inside the booklet you see over here is a spoiler section it's going to tell us about no, I take that back. Right here is the spoiler section that's gonna tell us about all the different items that were in the box. They also have the photo challenge. I don't have my act together. I never remember to do, because the photo challenge happens at the end of the month, and I never remember to do it. They also have journal prompts, that's what's over here, and then an apple cider uh, recipe, and on the back is a sneak peek for the December adult. Um, unplugged book box this the adult fiction and it the theme of that one is revenge and rebirth okay cool so let us look and see so the the blanket i was wrong the blanket is inspired by phantom of the opera yeah okay but that's lovely okay um and it is designed by nathana Nathana, 
um, mess it up, Erica, uh, and they give her Instagram handle on here, and I will have that link down below. Um, the coaster set was indeed um, inspired by Aaron Morgenstern's gorgeous books, um, The Night Circus and The Starless Sea, not The Endless Sea. So, like, see, I told you I hadn't read it. So maybe I should read it. I don't know. Uh, and it's an exclusive from Unplugged Book Box. Cool. Um, the Pulpery, the little pumpkin pulpery, um, it's, uh, it is Mini Pumpkin Pulpery, and it is an exclusive that was made by Petrichor Inc. Petrichor Inc. has made several goodies in some of the past, like, recent boxes. And so, like, I'm excited because I know that when I see something from them, it's going to be nice. It's going to be good. It's going to smell good. It's going to be great. Um, the candle is inspired by Outlander, which I haven't read and I haven't watched. I haven't watched because I haven't read. I haven't read because the book is really fat. It's a little chunky, chunky little dude. And so I have not just made time for it. Sometimes those chunky ones intimidate me, I'll be honest. Um, it is made by a group called Lichen and Limestone, in an, in an, and it is an exclusive for Unplugged Book Box this month. Then the Sugar Lip Scrub, is uh inspired by the atlas six so the atlas six some of you may be familiar with it because becca from becca and the books read it and enjoyed it and intends on keeping up with the rest of the books from that author um and it was a I'm trying to remember i think it was a um independently published and then it's been picked up by a large publisher so it's about to come back out like from a large publisher uh but it's dark academia mm. dark academia is really popular right now like i'm a teacher so i kind of don't want to read dark academia because i've spent enough time at school but anyway that's just me this was made as an exclusive for unplugged by angela taylor crafts and there is an etsy link and her instagram handle down below and then the bookmark is a bookmark made for unplugged and it's just cozy to help you out with the book. And then the book is, like I showed you guys, here it is. Oop. <laughs> here it is. It's got a, like, a nice, like, look how pretty the back is. It's very, very catching. Um, the book is called The Secret Next Door by Rebecca Taylor. Um, and it was released, oh, no, it will be released on November the 9th from Source Books. So... I get a chance to look at this one a little bit early, okay? So let's look at what it says about the book, okay? So The Secret Next Door, it's a novel, it's fiction. Um, it's the perfect neighborhood filled with not-so-perfect people. Allison Tinsdale is giving her son the childhood she never had. A stable family, a loving home, and a great school in a safe neighborhood. When they move into the home of her dreams in one of Denver's most sought-after developments, Allison works hard to fit in and impress the other mothers. Bonnie Sloan is the neighborhood matriarch. With her oldest son headed to Yale and her youngest starting kindergarten, Bonnie is now pursuing her long-held political aspirations. But it's her middle child, Elijah, and their private family struggles that cast a shadow over her plans. When the open space behind some of the most expensive homes gets slated for development into a golf amusement facility, the neighborhood becomes deeply divided. The personal pressures and community conflicts ratchet with every passing day. But it's when a 13-year-old boy is found dead beside the lake that simmering tensions boil over into panic. Gossip flows, lies are exposed, and accusations are made as cracks run through the community's once solid foundations. The neighborhood's faith in exterior appearances is eclipsed by the secrets every house keeps. Rebecca Taylor, author of Her Perfect Life, returns with this fast-paced, engrossing novel that reminds us that nothing is ever as perfect as it seems. Okay, I like a good neighborhood book, right? Because we all know, like, realistically, that 
nobody's life is perfect. Like, they might seem like they have their, their crap together when you see them at Whole Foods or Target or wherever you are. Uh, no, no, no. Like, everybody, everybody has issues. So, I'm excited. And here's the, this is what the uh, book plate looks like. It's really nice. Uh, can't wait to put it in the book. I love putting book, book plates in books. That just makes me happy. So, that is the box, y'all. I think, let's see, what's my favorite thing? I am excited to have this book to put on my shelf. Now, I don't know that I'm going to read it immediately because I've got a whole big TBR in November. I start shifting into a little bit more like from thrillers more to fantasy, but I'm glad to have this because I love a good neighborhood book. I loved it. I love it when like these moms like don't get along. Okay. Um, I would say that my favorite item out of this box has got to be the blanket. Okay, so hear me out. I know I'm like a basic girl and I have like a thousand and one blankets, but it is so soft. And Fan of the Opera is like classic, like super classic. So guys, that is the box for Cozy Nights. Okay. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, let's see if you want to just leave me an emoji leave me an emoji of something that you think is cozy what do you think of when you think of cozy things um and so yeah like and you tell me what you guys think of these items because i think this box is like really well done like there's a body product there's a candle like smell good stuff there's useful things like the coasters and the blanket like i feel like it's well-rounded like that's just me. I think this is this is a good this is a good box. I'm happy to have this. So anyway, um thank you for watching and if you like this video, please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed and you want to, please subscribe. I do my best to uh upload at least, you know, once a week or so. I do vlogs and unboxings and you know, just the usual. So anyway, thank you. Have a good day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.